All right, folks, here's this weird uh, stutter uh, thing we got. So we started with, with this. Hold on. Wow. Already messed it up. Great. Let's turn all the plugins off. And then listen. So we've got that. And then we turn on the auto-tune plugin in Logic and have it only set to the low. So I'm on low instead of uh, normal. And I just have the E note enabled and then you turn it on. Now you're gonna hear it start friggin' wobbling. Right? And then we were like, oh man, that's, that's pretty cool sounding, but it's like, it needs to be up an octave, so then we were like, no problem. We used the old AU Pitch plugin to go go up an octave. 1200 cents, that's an octave, folks. And then what do we do? We use the Sound Toys PsyQ to make it sound all uh, crunchy and stuff like this. Like that. And then what do we do? We put a freaking channel EQ on it. We take out the lows. We took out all the low frequencies. And then, and then what did we do? Oh my God. We put little altar boy on it, went back down an octave with a minus 12 formant. That hurts the ears. So that was that. And then we were like, whoa, it's like too wide. It's, it's too, everything, it doesn't fit with everything else. And we turned the direction mixer on. We crushed. We went down to like half the stereo width, right? So now, now we're like, whoosh. and then we were like, well, yeah, that's cool. But why don't we fuck it up a little more, okay? And then, and then we compress the shit out of it, right? We're slamming it. We're slamming this thing. So now we've got a consistent volume, right? And then we put a gate on it. So we put the gate right on the threshold of where the audio is, and so we're gonna hear these dropouts. Like that. And then the last thing is a tiny bit of reverb. And that's our weird warp bus for the day, folks. Don't we love it? 